Hello everyone. Uh, another day, another good time for a bike ride. And a couple of days ago, we had a, a good blizzard. <laughs> that was a, a fun adventure to say the least. And now it's, it's been a couple of days and uh, I haven't had a chance to get down here until now. And so I think the, the blizzard left us with something like five, five to six inches of snow. Although it blew around a lot, so I'm expecting there will be a lot of drifts on the trail and some spots where there's not much snow at all. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. It's fairly warm. It's like 20 degrees. It warmed up from what it was yesterday. And I can see a couple of people have been down here already. So I don't have to be the first person to break through the snow. and It should be a lot easier. I know Charles was here, but I see at least a couple of different tire tracks. So I'm not sure who's all been here. But maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll meet someone along the way. But uh, yeah, I guess I better get riding before the sun goes down. Oh, you know what? I forgot to lower my tire pressure. And uh, for riding in the snow, low tire pressure yeah, means everything. So let me loosen up my nut thing here. Let some air out of the tire. Oh yeah, there's way too much air in there. All right, see if that is any better. Make it easier to ride. And my goal today will be to try to make the trails a little bit wider. So I try to ride on the edge of where someone else has been ridden. Keep making the trail wider and wider on every pass. That way when it firms up, it's a lot easier to ride, almost like it's been packed and groomed down. All right, well, we'll try it there. And if that's not low enough, I'll let some more air out later. This section right up here is one of the spots that gets the biggest drifts most of the time. And some people have busted through them already. So that's nice. Oh yeah, letting some air out of my tires helped out a ton. A little hard to make the trail wider here. Already quite a few tracks through here, more than I would have expected. And even someone riding a regular size mountain bike tire looks like they are having a tough time though. So when I was down here a couple days ago in the blizzard, I uh, only brought one extra battery for the GoPro and didn't last very long. So today I'm all stocked up with three extra batteries. We even got an extra GoPro. I've got the lapel mic, so hopefully there shouldn't be any wind noise. Although it's not windy today at all, so I probably didn't even need it. But we've got some snow, crunchy snow noises to contend with. can still see where the bridges are. Boy, I wonder how many people have been down here. Seems like a lot of tracks. Yeah, well, if you've ever ridden in snow, or had struggled with your fat bike in the snow, definitely try dropping your tire pressure lower and lower and lower, and you'll see how much of a difference it can really make. Even if you're not on a fat bike, it makes a difference. Coming up on the water treatment area here that doesn't freeze in the winter. Sometimes there's geese and ducks and other things hanging out there. Stopped by during the blizzard, but there was nothing really there then. I think they were all hiding. Well, go take a look, see again today, see if anybody's down there. Somebody else walked this way, taking a look at him. No, nobody here this winter, maybe. 
All right, let's get back to the trail then. I'm curious how well these microphones will work in the cold like this today. They've got their own batteries that probably don't last nearly as long as they should when they're cold. You can see the skinny mountain bike tire track going all over the place. Sort of surprised they were able to ride at all. Oh, there's a deep drifty air, didn't drifted in area. Somebody who was here before me looks like they've got some really nice wide tires. across the bridge. Oh, someone took a shortcut there, but that's all right. Guess that's just where the winter trail is going to be this year, which is good because those extra corners make it harder to get up that hill. Might need to let a little more air out of my front tire. A lot of times people will ask exactly, well, what tire pressure do you run? And uh, I don't have a good answer for that. I don't have, even have a tire pressure gauge that can measure really low tire pressures. I just go till it feels right. Just keep letting air out. As long as it doesn't get so low that you smash your rim on anything, you're good. And when there's nice soft snow, you can go pretty darn low without having to worry about that. Only downside is with having really low tire pressure when I ride the extra mile on the roads to get back home. It's extra work with the low tire pressure. A lot more rolling resistance. Uh, some cute little bird or probably mouse tracks in the snow back there. beautiful though. I love that there's no wind. I kind of overdressed. I think I'm going to be too warm. So much extra work pedaling through the snow. There we go. Now we get to look into the sunlight watching it come through the trees on all the fresh white snow. Oh, it looks like uh, somebody went down there and somebody wasn't sure where the trail went. And there's extra sticks here that make it harder to tell where the trail goes. There we go. That ought to help. Just a little bit anyway. Try to stay off the trail with my footprints because it's so soft right now. I don't want to leave big footprints, especially if they firm up, then the trail gets really bumpy and almost impossible to ride after that. So if you do come down here on foot, walk alongside the trail or wear snowshoes because we, we work really hard trying to pack it down with our bikes so that it's nice and rideable. All it takes is one or two people walking in the fresh soft snow to right down the middle of the trail to leave it almost impossible to ride on. <laughs> that person went where the trail used to go but this summer we rerouted it a little bit this way. Well, I'll have to say I'm pleasantly surprised. The trail's in pretty good shape, pretty easy to ride. It's a little tricky when I'm trying to still make it a little bit wider every time I go around a corner and every time I pass this narrow section. Ideally, it'd be like, I don't know, foot, foot and a half wide. Wider the better. Uh, especially if we're going to get some more snow next week and 
when it's windy, it then blows, drifts in. That makes it hard to ride, so having a good wide base really helps. <laughs> 